All right. All right. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, we, we're going to add this today. Um, Eras, specific areas where we can uh, we can engage uh, with Drupal uh, developers uh, with the team. Uh, our main focus here will be uh, to to bring some some knowledge on, on throughout the years uh, how we how we add this, uh, areas where you can um, increase the team, engage the team, and also keep working to uh, to bring more more developers and more people to uh, to engage with the technology. Uh, my name is Luis. I'm, I'm head of engineer for CINT. Uh, and with me today, uh, we have Paulo. Paulo, please. Hello, everyone. I'm Paulo. I'm a Drupal developer, and I've been working for CINT for almost uh, three years now. And I met Drupal uh, in CINT as well. And we're going to split this presentation into, into areas. Uh, we're going to split, uh, explain a little bit about the challenge, um, how we address that on, on the, the volume that we have, uh, activities that we brought that improved this process throughout the years. And Paulo will describe details about the training system. We're going to share some, some numbers with you. Uh, and also uh, some, some results after uh, everything that we have been applying through uh, recently at the years. Um, a little bit of uh, of how we uh, who we are. Uh, we are at CNT. We are a digital uh, agents with more than six six thousand people around the globe. Uh, we work basically with strategy, design, uh, data, and engineering to to support clients with, with challenges. Uh, the areas that we we were most competent uh, are our application modernization, customer experience, and digital experience platform, data and analytics, uh, digital products design and development, digital strategy and innovation. And we have a little bit with Drupal in, in, in every era, pretty much in, in digital experience platform and customer experience. Uh, we are global agents. Uh, our headquarters is in Brazil, uh, but we have uh, offices and, and development centers in APAC, Europe, uh, USA. I am based in, in North America. Paulo is based in Brazil, and we have teams uh, across the globe, uh, including Drupal developers and, and Drupal teams as well. Uh, our relationship with Drupal uh, comes 15 uh, years ago from now. We, we, we deliver something around 7,000 to 8,000 entities in Drupal from simple websites to B2B commerce, uh, digital experience platform. So we experience a little bit of everything with Drupal. Uh, we have an army of almost 500 developers, uh, engineers, software architects uh, working with Drupal around the globe. Uh, we, uh, we have uh, a huge impact on Drupal contribution as well. We're going to share details on how we engage on training, uh, doing projects at the same time, contributing back to community. Uh, and we are practice certification and have a lot of uh, certified people as well. Uh, engagement challenge, uh, tackling a little bit about uh, what are the issues that we have or, or how, how we need to address the main challenge throughout the years. Uh, on attracting and engage with people. For, first is uh, how we find the right people to work with Drupal. Um, one thing that we, we saw, uh, which is good when you attract someone, uh, even in Brazil, they, they doesn't know Drupal uh, too often, and you need to highlight, uh, one, how your company is it's good on, on, the, on the strategy that will support them in the engineering career, how Drupal is it's interesting as well as a, a, a tool to develop their, their career and make them a great professionals. And it's great if you share what you, what you did so far. Um, you, it's interesting, always interesting when you when you share how you're gonna take care of their career with or without Drupal. But that that helps a lot for them to to engage, and and then of course bring the right tools for them uh, to support them on knowledge. We have a little bit of everything. Sometimes we find uh, Drupal developers to hire. Pretty much uh, that is, that is a challenge as well. So we need to find ways to build our our Drupal de developers from scratch, and I'm gonna share details about it. And it's great as well when you share uh, details, at least in high level, what, what you did with Drupal. And normally they got really excited and that, that is a key um, information for them to, to, to join our company, okay? Um, so another important tips here, be visible. Uh, share not only uh, during the interview, but keep sharing what we have been doing. Uh, in the project side, uh, in the contribution side, uh, contributed to the open source world, uh, cases, specific case, everything that you do a little bit, bring more attention for, for the engineering 
uh, people that are not part of your company. Detailed career development uh, highlights not only from an engineer point of view, but which positions you have for Drupal from junior developer to software architects to, uh, to, to, to work as well in areas like management, uh, digital strategy, and so on. And again, keep showing the results. It's always important for them. Uh, challenge in Drupal as well. Uh, when you start to engage with Drupal, uh, then you see uh, additional challenges that you need to address. The learning curve, curve with Drupal, and we have uh, other CMS in, at home as well, normally is greater uh, than other technology. So you need to find better ways to, uh, to bring those information in a way that they will, they will adjust. Uh, important thing here before we move forward, we, we hire when, when we don't find Drupal, uh, it's a good spot to find people, of course, in PHP. Java is a good fit as well. Uh, Python, normally Python is a good transition to, to Drupal. Um, you need to show uh, what it can do with Drupal related to engineering. Uh, Drupal sometimes for them is a CMS, they will not code on that. that that's not good for, for engineers. So bring them opportunities. Like you, you can build documentation, you can build CMS, you can build uh, errors from a DevOps perspective, use AWS to build uh, things uh, match with Aqua, for instance, or other hosts and, and, and so on. So you have a lot of appealing things that you bring to developers that you can make them engage. And another challenge, as we are a global company, uh, recently we need to find ways, either way to, to hire them speaking English or find ways to teach English for them from scratch because that will support them to, to keep improving uh, based on documentation, uh, learning, learning tools and so on, and, and also be, uh, be more useful uh, in, inside and throughout the projects. Um, what we, we had to build a few years ago, it's an area inside our company due to the size and how many projects we, we have in-house called Drupal Competence Office. We, we start to invest in an area that will take over uh, of this area with the technology covering different, different aspects. Uh, and that shows a great decision because we have been growing faster in supporting not only the training uh, process, but also supporting the selling, selling process, uh, supporting even projects when needed. Uh, and if you start to grow really, really fast with Drupal, that is a, a good thing to do. And we can detail more how, how we do in-house. We started with two, three people. And uh, when we are in full capacity, we, we can have more than 30 people just working on it. Uh, Drupal Competence Office can handle different areas. So mainly the, it, it was created to keep updating the material that will be used for them to, uh, to self-learning and al also to train new people. Uh, we start to add, uh, give back to community uh, uh, with the team as well. And a few years ago, we have a session in, in Seattle that show us that we we're doing great delivering project, but we are not doing great on, on contribution. And that's a shame when we are talking about Drupal. CIT was 170 on, on ranking to contribution. After we start to add that on the process within the training, CIT start to be top three contributor uh, from the open source perspective. And we have been there for the last four years. So we, we match a little bit the usability of both areas. Uh, boot camps, of course, this, this area supports a lot of boot camps and training. We're gonna share a little bit more details about it. And recently we started to support pre-sales and innovation areas. Everything that is related to uh, estimates, everything that is related to uh, POCs or things that might be useful for, for our clients, uh, these areas is there to support as well and being really helpful. Um, Main, main keys, uh, key areas here to, to keep like the engine moving forward. We, we, ha we have right now something around 415, 500 developers. We need to deal with attrition. Uh, we have new projects and we need to ramp up faster. So we have three main pillars here. One is the internship program that run year by year. Uh, this team take care of it. It's focused on, on, on people that are coming directly from, from college. Uh, and then we build pretty much great junior developers. We have continuous bootcamp that w goes for junior developers and uh, mid-level developers. We are doing some, some like experimentation to boost as well for senior developer, which is a, a, a little bit different challenge. And everything that we, we use on those, those areas, we create self-learning tools to, to be used for whoever needs. And even the te teams that are training as well, we keep adding material and uh, they keep upgrading their knowledge. Um, currently, the most uh, used uh, training process are called uh, Next Gen, which is for internship and tomorrow's talent. Uh, Paulo will, will highlight details about the training, how we tackle 
and then I will come back to show results for you. So after we mapped our challenges and opportunities, we created this training model, uh, which contains hands-on activities uh, to increase the capacity of the learning. Uh, as it, it's a an, an learning environment, we have we need also a safe space so people can learn and uh, and practice. So we care about uh, if they uh, can uh, if they uh, feel comfortable to make mistakes and learn with it. Of course, uh, people learn also in in pairs in groups that uh, has uh, that have diversity and inclusion. And we also uh, promote community sense as part of the training as it's part of CINT culture. Uh, this is basically the timeline of the, the training. So first we have the hiring and then the welcome where people get to know each other and are introduced to the company. We have the training with uh, videos and hands-on activities. And at the end, we have what we called a knowledge, uh, we have what we called uh, the that we have the part of the training where people practice what they learn. So we have the Drupal project and the community contribution. So uh, a very important part of the learning framework is to bring the right people. So uh, we need people that have a positive attitude, willingness to learn PHP and Drupal and open source community fit. We need people uh, that knows programming logic and also OOP knowledge. Uh, we need people for, uh, with English for communication because all of our material uh, materials are in English. And we also train people from different countries. And people uh, must be able to manage their time and use it uh, and use flexibility, flexibility with, with uh, responsibility. And since the hiring process, we start uh, inspiring people. So we show uh, career opportunities. So they, uh, they, they can be part of, of something bigger because we support uh, Drupal community contribution and this make developers uh, happier. We, they have the opportunity to learn Drupal from scratch. Uh, this is such amazing framework from scratch and they have the opportunity to be uh, hired specifically to learn Drupal and not to uh, handle uh, backlog issues at the same time as they are learning a new framework. Uh, as CINT is a global company, they have the opportunity to build an international career. They have the opportunity to go to a DrupalCon, as I'm here, and they have the opportunity to get certified in different uh, certifications because CINT have uh, contribution campaigns as well. And this is how our training are structured. So after the, uh, the people are hired, we have the welcome. And we have all those topics here, here with uh, videos and exercise. The last two topics of the training, which are Drupal project and community contribution, they practice what they learned in the last topics. And we are always improving our uh, training framework because we are always collecting feedback, feedbacks from people after they are uh, in the project to check if it makes sense uh, to learn the content we have uh, in the training. So all those topics in black are topics that we added uh, based on feedbacks we received from project leaders that received people that we trained. Uh, to organize the, the content uh, of the training, we have materials from Drupalizeme and we also create uh, videos. So we use uh, CINT University, which is an in internal tool to, to manage the content we create ourselves. And we also use the grid, which is a platform to, to organize the content so people know what they have to do and where they are in the training. Those are all the technologies we cover uh, during the training, all the basic technologies that we think people need to know uh, to perform uh, in a project. And the last part of the training is knowledge and validation, which are the uh, contribution to the Drupal community and the Drupal project itself. So the first part uh, is the Drupal project. We run a project with, with the people we are training. We run Scrum to simulate a real project. Uh, we separate them in teams from 
three to nine people. And we use uh, project management tools like Jira. So they are familiar uh, with the uh, process and the tools we use in CIT projects. Uh, the project runs on top of Appia. Uh, we have also a CI CD uh, pipeline configured. Uh, they don't have to configure it, but they use it. So if a build fails, they check what happened and, uh, and know how to do it in a real project. And of course, uh, it improves their technical skills in Drupal because they have to convert user stories to Drupal solutions. So basically, they uh, before it, they watched videos and did some uh, specific hands-on exercise, and then they have the Drupal project to validate their, their knowledge. So the purpose of our learning framework is to develop people and people give back to the community. It's, it's beautiful, isn't it? So uh, when we mean community here, we mean CIT, we mean our clients, and of course, we mean also the Drupal community. So the last part of our learning framework is contribution to the Drupal community. So they learn how to contribute to the, to the Drupal community. They have autonomy to work on different uh, modules and even in core if they are able. Uh, they join also the Drupal Slack where things happen in the Drupal community. And it's good for business because CINT uh, again is listed as one of the Drupal top contributors. It's good for the employees because they increase their knowledge and contribution uh, make uh, developers uh, happier. And it's good for the community because we have more people uh, contributing. So to follow up the training, uh, we have daily meetings. So we know exactly where people are in the training. And with the grid, the, the platform we use to organize our content, we know where people are in exactly in the training. We have also NPS of the training. So uh, each part of the training, we, we collect uh, NPS and feedbacks. So we collect uh, about uh, feedback of the videos, of the project and of the contribution. Uh, we evaluate the performance of the people during the training. Uh, we also have two, two checkpoints meetings during this training period. And it's very important because people see that we are uh, watching, their, that we care about their career and their performance. And we also have uh, numbers of issues handled and credits received by, by those people who are uh, contributing to the Drupal community, who are in the last part of the training. And all this data uh, we display in a dashboard so we can have access uh, to it. All right, thank you, Paulo. So uh, before we, we go to re the results here, uh, it's, it's interesting to share as well that um, we need to find better ways to, uh, to match what is important for each people, but also what is important for, for a company. So uh, everything that Paulo just shared uh, from a business growth point of view, it's interesting because uh, open source has been a topic uh, really, really hot uh, recently when you are, are participating on RFP or, or any other process, they, they start to ask like from the last three years uh, and Drupal is one of the greatest like open source community. To have that, like you can match pretty good with the results. Uh, of course, uh, branding awareness, uh, we're gonna share a little bit more details on it. Uh, and, and of course, in a nutshell, you, you are building a, a career for a professional and, and normally they, they become really great engineers despite the fact that it's with Drupal or not. And everything that we share from numbers uh, they are open to to executives, managers uh, to see results, track how they are moving forward, which which helps a lot for to give feedbacks and also uh, adjust whatever we 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 believe it's important. Uh, a little bit of results based on last uh, last year and last two years. Uh, we we have been training something around 120 people year by year, uh, which is an impressive number for the technology. So which means for junior and, and mid level developer, we have a machine that deliver. Uh, these numbers. We can increase and stre stretch if we need it uh, based on, on how many projects we, we are building. And we are developing uh, people from different regions around the globe. Uh, we have a high rate of uh, diversity and inclusion. This is a program that you, you are able to, uh, to add as much as you can. 
recently, on the last two quarters, we, we could hit more than 70% of diversity on, this, on these programs, which is a really high number. Uh, the, the corporate number is something around, if I'm not wrong, 55 to 60%. Uh, of course, these numbers vary a little bit, but 70% in average, uh, a really great number, is spread for all those categories. And we were working really, uh, really heavily to increase that. And Drupal contribution, uh, just related to those uh, training process, uh, we have uh, this, this group contributing more to 1,200-ish um, uh, credits. Uh, and, and that is impressive because if you join that with everything that you do outside those programs, it's a good contribution for, for Drupal, which is great for business and great for, for us as well. Uh, brain awareness, as we shared, like we have possibilities to have CNT highlighted in, in so many places. If you go to drupal.org on, on, um, on the footer, you, you'll see CNT logo. If you go to uh, commerce, you see results and, and case studies that we are participating. If you go to the contribution or who is part of the, uh, the product, you'll see uh, CNT uh, highlighted in different categories, sometimes just behind Acquia, which is tough to beat, but we are we are glad to be close to them. And uh, we have year by year on Dries uh, notes for, about who contributed to Drupal. Uh, we, we're glad to see that they highlighted phrases like that. The only system integration uh, at the top 30 uh, from the last three years, he said the same phrase was CINT, which means we, we can keep up with the a big doc conversation on deliver projects, enterprise projects, but at the same time, we are, we are one of the uh, companies that are contributing heavily for the open source. And we are listed top two or top three year by year. Uh, they created new categories by weight and by numbers, but we are there on top 10 and top three, uh, which, which is really great. And last but not least, uh, you have individual contribution as well, which is great for, for the personas. When you show something like that uh, for a developer that will learn a technology come out of the college and they will be able to be part of one of the great open source communities around the globe and be listed by name directly, uh, that is something else. Last, uh, last one, uh, we had three people from CNT on top three, on top 30. Uh, this guy here, Renato, in 2018, he was the top contributor globally, uh, alongside, like, he, he contributed more than everybody else. This year, we have Renato in, in 29th, Thales in 15th, and this gentleman here that joined us uh, two years ago is the top contributor in our company. So he came from zero to hero in two years, which, which represents that uh, if you learn, you can, you can be part of it. Um, and that's it. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it.